What's up gamers, Joe Ross here of Cerulean Games coming to you with another pickup video. Yesterday I attended the Classic Plastics Toy and Comic Expo down in Parkersburg, West Virginia. This is the third year that they've had this expo. It was our first year attending and I got nothing but nice things to say about it. Uh, everything in nerd and pop culture was very well represented, not only toys and comics, but video games, uh, anime, art, literature, cosplay, lots of good cosplay throughout the day. Some really good cosplay. Um, again, I had a blast. A lot of friends of mine from West Virginia showed up. Uh, really, the show's got a really good future, and I can't wait to get back down there again. Uh, so if I can attend next year, I definitely will. Um, I got some really good pickups from the show, too. Uh, buying and trading. Um, not usually, not the quantity I usually get, but there's some very good quality, especially at the end. Uh, so let's jump right in. First off, I got some games from my new buddy Reyes. He owns a booth in the Rinks Flea Market in Marietta. Uh, really good guy to deal with. Got, he has a really wide selection as well, all the way from like Atari 800, all the way up to Xbox One and PS4. Uh, and it's really a decent selection too, uh, especially of retro. Um, some really good games there. And uh, we did a little dealing. Um, I picked up three copies of Link to the Past from him. Which we will be at about $35 a piece on. And I also got two copies of Castlevania 4. I only have one to show you in the video. Uh, not too bad. Uh, we'll be at about $45 a piece on these. And I also picked up a Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. Not the best of label. It's got some sun fading there. As you, excuse me, as you can see, but still really good game. Uh, I'm thinking we'll be at about fifty dollars on this one. Uh, next up, I got some PS2 games that I got in trade, and they are all from the same series. Dot Hack Infection, Dot Hack Mutation, Outbreak and Quarantine. These are all really nice. Um, all of them except for Infection has the manual and they all have their DVDs with them. Uh, this is the first time I've ever had Quarantine. Um, I've had the other three in the series. I'm glad to get a full set. Uh, these will go quickly. I'm sure this is without a doubt one of the best uh, Japanese role-playing games there is. Um, I'm thinking on quarantine we'll be at about 150. Um, you, infection is probably going to be around 15. Mutation is on hold, and outbreak is going to be in that $30 range as well. So happy to get those. Also in trade from another guy, uh, I picked up a copy of Chrono Trigger. Came in a uh, special case, as you can see. Actually, a really nice label, especially for a Mexico version. Love having this game. It's one of my favorites. Really not that bad. Um, I'm thinking on the cart will be at about 110. And with it, we also got uh, the inserts. So I'm probably in need of a box. <laughs> uh, the manual is iffy. Uh, it's got obvious wear to it. It's not terrible, though. But... Mm. I've had better. <laughs> and also the map and uh, poster, which are actually really crisp. Um, these are really nice. If I don't find a box anytime soon, I will definitely be willing to sell these, part them out. Um, probably like 20 on the manual and maybe like 20 to 30 a piece on the other inserts because they're actually really nice. No rips or tears to them. So happy to get those. This next batch of games I got from my buddies down at Rare Drops. Uh, Baxter, Zoe, and Michael, they all run a store in Huntington, West Virginia. They ran the game room at Classic Plastic. Uh, I deal with them quite often. They got a really nice store down there. I haven't been there for a while, but they since I've been there, I do believe that they've opened up an arcade room in the back. So I kind of want to go and check that out. Um, but what I picked up from them is Mega Man X5 PS1. I already had X4 and X6, so complete the set there. Uh, we'll be at about 20 on this one. Ever popular River City Ransom. 
Decent copy will be at about 30 bucks. Rock and Roll Racing. Label's got a little bit of damage there. Uh, some peeling. Uh, I'm thinking we'll be in that $30 range on this one. A really nice copy of Super Metroid. Got a clean label on that guy. Uh, about 55 and a complete copy of Battletoads Double Dragon for the Genesis. Really nice, pretty decent manual. Uh, doesn't have that bending like on the corners that you usually see Genesis manuals have. Decent, uh, decent label on the cart. Uh, we'll be around 45, 50-ish in that area. Okay, and um, the last item I got, uh, I bought this um, in tandem with my buddy Matt from Forever Games, who we went in halves on it, uh, and it's a good one. We also got this from Raz from Rinks, and if I can open it here, it is a black box NES game, and it is Donkey Kong Jr. Math. This is, without a doubt, an amazing piece. This box is in a, I mean, as far as black boxes go, it is just gorgeous. I mean, it does have the wear and tear on the corners, but there is no crushing, no creasing. Um, it has where there was a Nintendo Void sticker here. Has peeled up, but um, it's just, I mean, it's just a really nice box for this game, especially with the rarity of it. I love that the hang tab is unpunctured. Uh, that is really good. It doesn't have a manual. It does have the cart. The cart is in immaculate condition. It also has the Rob the Robot poster that came with it as well. Um, I don't know if we're actually going to try and complete this or not, but we are. N we're we're not uh, we're not opposed to selling it as it is. Uh, the manual can be ha easily had for around a hundred bucks. Um, but that hang tab unpunctured like that, that's a really nice, that's really nice. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kind of, kind of speechless. I'm really excited to get a piece like this. You don't get items like this that often. So I'm happy to get this in. Uh, this will definitely make a complete unbox collector very happy to have. I, I would, I would argue that it is, that this is probably above average condition. So, um, I'm thinking as it is, we will probably be around $1,200 on it. Uh, we are also, I I assume, speaking for Matt, uh, we are open to trades on it as well. So, happy to get this. <laughs> well, that wraps up what I got to show you. Um, most of this stuff should be available at our next convention, which is the Barrie Game Exchange up in Barrie, Ontario. That is March 20th. Uh, this show is in its second year. It's going to be a blast. About 100 vendor tables. Uh, they are almost sold out. I think they only have five or six left. So definitely get in touch with Chris. He's the guy running it. Um, I know that me and Brody are going to pick up Scott Zentech, Grimsy42 on our way up there. I also know that uh, Rerez is heading over. So it's going to be a fun time. Uh, I'm really excited for this. I'm hoping that this show really takes off in the future. I didn't go last year. I probably should have. But uh, it's going to be our first foray into Canada. Uh, like I said before, happy to be going international with Cerulean. So uh, see what's uh, in store for us up there. Well, that wraps it up. Thanks for watching as always. Like, comment, subscribe. Like us on Facebook. Other than that, have a nice day.